Yo, what's up everybody? I just wanted to make a video basically saying that with the quarantine going back into stage three and with a bunch of personal things going on in my life, I've been feeling at such a weird low point, but I'm trying my best to, to make the best of everything. But there's been a lot of things mentally weighing on me, like this clip from American Idol season nine of Andrew Fenlon. Basically, I'm just gonna explain to you why Andrew is not the bad guy. So, let's watch this. My name's Andrew Fenlon. Andrew. And why are you here, Andrew? I'm here auditioning for American Idol. Should be fairly obvious right. at this point. First thing, that's pretty funny. I'd say that's pretty funny. I mean, a little sarcastic, but, you know, I, I'm feeling his energy. Maybe that's just me. What, what brought you here to audition? What brought me here to audition? I don't think it's that interesting of a question, actually, but Andrew, I think... Andrew, yeah. Andrew, I'm going to just warn you now. If you okay. want to carry on being a smart ass, you can leave the room. Oh, I'm not being a smart So ass. either answer the questions okay. or leave. Okay, no, I'll answer the questions. I'm going to answer your questions. I'm sorry, first of all. Okay, first thing, he specifies later on that he was feeling on edge as a result of waiting, and at the start of the video, he specifies that he was feeling you know, on edge also because of all the interviewing and waiting for hours, you know, like as somebody with a lot of anxiety, and I'm sure a lot of you other people have a lot of anxiety. If you're waiting for hours and hours to perform, you know, the chance of being rejected like this, and there's people interviewing you about it all the time, you know, maybe you're not going to react the same way as him, but you're definitely going to feel very nervous and on edge. And his response to the question is just kind of funny, you know. But I mean, you know, he's nervous and nervous people say and do stupid things. You know, the judges are on TV every day. They're used to it. They they can compose themselves. But Andrew's just a regular dude, you know, and not to mention the fact that he also apologizes several times for his behavior. I'm going to sing House of the Rising Sun. You know that song? I'm just OK. Andrew, you are really pushing this. <laughs> no. And then right there, when he asks if they know that song, that comes across to me as more him being excited about the song as opposed to him wanting to be a wise guy about it. There is a house in New Orleans. It's called the Rising Sun. And it's been the ruin of many poor boy and god i know i'm one my mother was a tailor she sewed my new blue jeans my father was a gambling man way down in new orleans Thank you. Are you angry? Am I angry? You sound very on edge. Tell us what happened. It's just well, you know, the thing is, you want to be in the music business, but you don't want to wait to get into American Idol. That, to me, seems to be a problem. And, That's you know, for point. you to have... A couple things to unpack here. They don't critique him at all on his singing. Not at all. Nothing to do with his singing. The fact that she wants to declare him as arrogant because he doesn't want to wait for American Idol, a show that's been well known for their exploitation of aspiring musicians and saying like he's unworthy or, or whatever she says. It's not so much about waiting to be on American Idol as much as it's about you're waiting to put yourself out there and all of that like pressure is weighing on you. And he does even say that she makes a good point. So he's being very, very open-minded to what they have to say. You know, he's not being arrogant. Oh, I think you're reading actually, it too far. No, no, I'm not reading it too far. Because you just told me that you were a little bit annoyed that you had to wait Very three annoyed. hours yeah. to come in here and get your shot when there are people that would wait years to do so. So I am now angry at you, who I don't like at all. The fact that, you know, you know, the judges have, like, this sense of superiority like she's sitting here like we're giving you a chance you know we're giving you a shot in the music business and like there's people who would who would die for this man so you know you're being unreasonable here you know look how gracious we are that we're giving you this this shot in the music business and you've got very very bad energy oh man you do <laughs> i think that oh man 
is like the most amazing thing ever. That's just adorable. I love it. Let's have a little conversation about this. <laughs> I Andrew actually has enough humility to engage in a conversation with the judges and listen to what they have to say. He's willing to accept criticism of his character, and that's not something a lot of people do. I want to, I was trying to seem confident. Confident, oh. it came over the other way. Very he explains he's trying to come across as confident, but once again, he's nervous and anxious, and nervous and anxious people say and do weird things, especially when they're trying to do the right thing. What they're trying to do can be miles away from what they actually do. Yes or no? Andrew, no, I'm sorry. Victoria? No. Randy? Wasn't good enough today, dog, no. I would That's have said right. yes. You're what? kidding me. Wait a minute. You know. You're being really vicious here. I'm Seriously. sorry. I really don't like you. I, I have I a very strong you reaction to you. I, I don't know why. But I I'm not do. judging you in this way. You then can again, judge I'm not me judge. all you want. See, right there he says, I'm not judging you in this way, but then again, I'm not a judge. He's once again showing humility, and he's, he's humble about that. She says, you can judge me all you want. But basically, she's saying that she's trying to excuse her poor behavior by saying that he can emulate that poor behavior anytime he wants. That's not a thing that you can do. If I make fun of somebody and I'm in a position of power over them, like I'm a millionaire judge and they're just a regular dude, if I make fun of him, you know, I can tell him all day, you know, you can make fun of me if you want, but really he can't. So her statement means nothing. You need a spanking. You need a spanking. That's what you need. Thank you. What are we talking about? You can see the sense of entitlement in her, you know, her saying you need a spanking, addressing this grown man as though he's a child because these millionaire judges, like I said earlier, have a superiority complex over regular people. I feel like I need to go home and take a shower Hideously after Hideously arrogant. Ooh, Even more arrogant gross. than Simon. And now we're going to look in the comments. All these comments, you see these? You can pause and read them if you want, but they're basically saying some of the things that I'm saying. Everybody seems to agree with Andrew. Everybody seems to be on Andrew's side because Andrew's the right one here. Andrew was innocent and they didn't judge him by his singing at all and they attacked his character. That's wrong. And yeah, that's all I got to say about it. So, uh, you know, hope whatever's going on right now, you're all right about it. Not having a bad time, whatever, you know, see you later.